Hello and welcome, Cosmic Quantum Travelers, Diamond Avatars. Are you ready to fully rise and shine? Rising like the phoenix from the ashes of the old, the false self, fully dissolving in that fire, which I see more as a diamond white flame of purification, illumination and ascension, which is purifying all, especially since our last activation. Thank you again so much for those that were part of that and has helped us to truly ignite the Cosmic Father principle within the collective field, um, our crystal and God self, because that, that was a very powerful plasma light body activation that continues to unfold in the field. And what I'm seeing is tomorrow's or today's now 20th uh, group call and activation is going to charge the field all the way up. And then there will be a continuation of events unfolding. This is where everything changes for good, for real, for fucking ever. Because we did make the shit happen, the magical kind. And this is where we continue to make it happen because we literally are now fully awakening the diamond avatar within us, the core of the core of the cosmic monad, having reached ascended master levels and now lighten us all the way the fuck up in the best way possible, Sekanati. And anyone who has problems with me using the F word, it keeps me sane in this reality. And people who don't understand where I'm coming from or what I'm even doing here, let me explain, okay? For those who are new, or this is actually my 300th video, Epepore 255, just for fun. Um, Plenty to look back on. And truly there are golden nuggets, timeless wisdom, Gnosis that helps you on your ascension path and quarters and all of them. Anyway, <clears throat> what was I getting at? Magical self coming online. No, I lost the thread. Anyway, so. Oh yeah, what I'm doing here. Because I know most people expect the divine feminine to be all love and light. And when I say love and fucking light, okay, it's regarding the huge hijacking that has taken place in the whole spiritual religious field. I mean, the whole field of the one consciousness, these inversions of truth, okay? And yeah, I do have, have a problem with that because I'm here to return real truth and people hate on me for that because yeah, nobody's hated more than the one who returns real truth. Because again, it, it shatters your false ego self. That, that's what I'm here for. So I express the energies that help us, the collective field, to keep moving forward and bursting through all of these blocks, limiting thought forms, belief systems, and ultimately whatever it takes within reason. I never attack anyone. I'm not here to be at war. Uh, I'm here to reconcile the 12, aka 13 tribes from within the oneness. Okay, bring the gray lines, the Essenes, the one cosmic family back together, however you want to call this. I don't really care because we can use many words for it, symbolisms. And there's truth everywhere, even within the inverted false light teachings. What does false light mean? It means inverted truths, false truths. Okay? So go beyond the messenger separate the message from the messenger and i went more into this in the last call you can access the details still below in the description box as well as the ones for the next call where we're going to turn the magic all the way up because it's time truly mm -hmm. so okay let's first of all start with that so on the 20th at we start a bit earlier than usual at 20, 22 p.m. UK time because the solstice goes exact at 21.50 p.m. UK time. So I want to be ready for the activation, the field that we are, you know, this consciousness field, this container that we, this magical manifestation, activation and healing container that we constantly create and hold together as one to make this as coherent as possible, that there is no misalignments um, that we all agree on the core of what we are here to anchor, activate and bring back on behalf of all. So ultimately I can't promise anything, but I believe we will be, you know, 
doing the activation around the time of the solstice going exact. Uh, and I also don't believe it will be too long a call. Also because I'm taking part in an uh, event physically the next day for the solstice in uh, actually Phoenix Park in Dublin. I'm going to leave a link below because they're also doing a remote transmission. I'm going to share this within my container as well as um, leaving it here now underneath in the description box along with the sign up for um, the masterclass for the solstice. And again, if you can't take part live, although that's preferred, makes, you know, it's more fun. Uh, amplifies the field. The timeless quantum replay will be available, okay, shortly after. So the event on the Sunday in Phoenix Park is um, called Anchoring the Golden Fire. Again, you can find more details below on how you could take part either physically or remotely, okay? And um, that's also very much connected with, again, this whole unfoldment over the solstice. Like, this is where true magic is unfolding. Like, the event I'm doing, um, you know, together with some beautiful souls on Saturday um, that I've spoken about before uh, here in Dublin area. I know it's going to be super potent. I mean, just, again, this group call, then this event in Phoenix Park, and again, what's happening globally and in general, it's just June, June, June. And then Saturday, we do the event physically in Knock Rose, where I'm going to also do a shorter activation meditation, and that will be very special in general. I mean, again, we are not waiting for anything, no date, no nothing. This is already in the field now. And it's literally like, if you haven't noticed yet, past, present, and future is fully dissolving in, in the now. Because there is no time, it's all parallel. Okay, it's all happening all at once. And it's all collapsing into the still point of the eternal now moment as you fully merge and integrate with your multidimensional self. And as that happens, we can now fully turn on all of our supernatural powers, gifts, abilities, teleportation, bilocation, telekinesis, levitation, flying, shape shifting, okay, manifestation out of thin air infinite abundance this is our true inheritance we're claiming this all the way back we are fully active we have already reclaimed it to get with, together with the two divine blueprints it's already all all in the field the new divine organic creation field it's all in the field we just keep lighting it up igniting it and i know that this activation that i'm you know uh, facilitating here online via zoom on the 20th it's going to be super potent and it's going to prepare the field and it's going to basically charge the field all the way up with a lot of um, the auroras, plasma light, God source consciousness, frequencies. I transmit a lot of gamma rays. The activations I transmit are very, of very high frequencies directly connecting to the Godhead, connecting you with that God source consciousness. And I actually also found some information on the gamma rays. I'm going to leave a link below also in the description box, again, check it out, um, of what I do, really connecting you to a higher consciousness, this God source consciousness, this unity field, and literally lights up your brain, and crystalline light, body, plasma, rainbow, sun, self. Okay, this is where the triple diamond sun body is coming fully online. This is what we activated with the last activation. Also, these masculine rod codes, quantum style, the new quantum codes, which are the new fire letters, fully igniting our fully multidimensional self in this new divine organic creatrix field where all realms, all beings, all kingdoms have already been fully merged as one. A totally new reality we are sliding, jumping, merging with, jumping into, sliding with, sliding into, merging with. Um, a parallel version of you, reality, everything, where everything is fully healed. Imagine that, okay? As well as there will be further alignments taking place but truly us fully liberated from this false construct okay which truly is based on all inversions and fears and so forth now i'm going to share more tomorrow okay also check out the description of the event link i mean that in itself just a description it takes a lot for me to put all of this together again this needs to be respective as well as it's a gift from my heart to yours even if you don't take part in the uh, activation just reading through the event description really helps you to activate this also in your field because these are collective activations we are holding and anchoring on behalf of all. And yeah, the more can take part and support this field, 
the more energy frequency we can anchor. And I know the massive amount of spiritual warfare that's been going on this last week, especially this last few days. I mean, it's been horrendous, truly in all ways, shapes and forms. This matrix trying to like grind you down. Uh, and often that comes, again, through all kinds of ways, shapes and forms and people close to us and how it all unfolds. Again, I'm going to share more on the group call on this and how we can become truly unfuckable and invincible. Also, just a quick note, I haven't yet completed um, the way I'm going to continue the group membership. So for now, it's on hold because things were unfolding that took my attention and a lot of my energy and focus and they need to be fully aligned before I can complete this. And I don't think it will be done before after the solstice, like before next week sometime. So I just take it one now, now moment at a time and will let everyone know. And for now, it ticks over, so to say, like it's a closed container, um, as we are, so to say. Um, and all I can see is that we won't be doing what we're doing the way we are doing it now. Because everything is about to shift in a very big way. And this is also why I can't fully bring this together right now, because it's not there yet. So that's that. So this is also why I'm doing this quick update. And again, more on a group call tomorrow. And, you know, more of how everything continues very soon. So this is really, really where we are completing this purification, rebirth and reset of all beings, kingdoms, realms. Everything is being transformed, transfigured. Okay, we're already, these are massive crystal and plasma light body activations. Tune within, really tune in. Like, this is massive. This is where everything comes online. This is where the magic is going to blow our hearts and minds all the way open. And the magic is love. True divine love is a frequency that we came here to return. And again, for people that don't understand what I'm doing, true divine love is tough love, gentle love within the omni love. Okay. And too many people out there are doing this false love light show, okay, just copying what everybody else is doing out there just to be liked, to have the followers, to have the business, okay, and I'm here to keep rattling the ego, okay, to dissolve the false ego self within a collective to bring us all the way home, and yeah, returning the truth is not very much liked, people don't understand what I'm really transmitting, and then I'm literally purging all of these energies and keep shifting and changing them, as it needs to be. And if you really want to love people, tell them the truth. And anyone who's ever shamed me for being angry ever in my life or kind of judged me for that, don't own her own anger. And I tell you another thing, the feminine not owning her own anger, her primal life force, her shadow self, us all, okay? You project it out to other people. You give it away. You're not owning it. Because the new divine cosmic Christ blueprint is all about merging shadow and light. It's not about us now returning to just an angelic version of self that most people are aspiring to know it's you fully alchemizing your shadow all the time no longer projecting it out onto other people your unacknowledged shadow self your pain body you own it all that's what makes people feel safe not projecting not not speaking we need to communicate that's the whole issue here if we harbor, if we suppress, if we like make up our own stories, like the mind, the false ego mind might makes up all kinds of stories and then it believes in it. And that's the paranoid realities where we feel isolated and separate that we have been seeing. Okay. And that's where we need to keep going deep, deep, deep within. And it's not about being perfect. It's about, again, owning all of it, loving it all the way up, every part of you, not just wanting to be the good thing. And then again, externalizing the bad out there. This is how we got the shit show. Because people have been externalizing their false shadow, unacknowledged shadow selves, the false self, the fears, the doubts, the various onto the screen, not owning it, not clearing it up. And that's what creates all of the distortions. It's a distortion in the blueprint. You're not aligned with real truth. That's why you get upside down realities. You need to see reality yourself and others but what it truly is, a projection of our own mind, of what the mind makes up, so to say. And it can only be purified through the heart as you fully let go of all of these false beliefs and thought forms, this limiting MK Ultra programming that is constantly telling us we're not enough because it's all devaluation. That's all that is based upon. And that's what ultimately makes the body sick if you don't look at it and keep suppressing it or projecting it out to other people. None of these things work. It's when we bring it up and out, when we have soul to soul, heart to heart conversations, truly authentic, transparent, vulnerable, 
truthful, but first we, of all, we need to be honest to ourselves, to be just with others. This is where everything comes from and comes back to, to heal all, because this is how everything fell apart. And we don't do this and make up stories. And distortions happen and miscommunication. It's hard enough when we speak one language. Like seriously, but if we don't speak, all of this shit comes up and like confusion, so much confusion. So all of these inversions, reversals for the clearing in the field, all of the karmic density, all of this crap, black magic. And we go more into this in the call of what black magic is, what makes you a black or white magician, because so far we've all been black magicians here. Abusing the power of our own mind words that create our thoughts, create matter, and so forth. All right, so now, as we shift our perception as a collective back to right way up, we are, what we are looking at shifts. That's the quantum observer effect, okay? It's the same as our healing. It's not that you change what happens. You just change it the way you look at it. And then it's like, oh, okay. Because the heartbreak, that what seems like poison, the pain, is actually the medicine. Because you need to, like, lately, it's like our core wounds will have been triggered for them to fully heal. As you shift your perception, that's the only time it ever heals. If you keep thinking the same way about it, that keeps you making feel in pain and suffering, you know, you can get stuck there. I mean, that's what we've seen. Um, playing, out, uh, playing out a lot. Only a higher perception, consciousness shift heals. Not time. Not just feeling it, but yeah, you also need to purge it. You literally need to let it come up and out in your body for your cellular release to happen, but all to clear at the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual level. Okay, as all this one, especially now. So this is the ultimate paradigm, quantum reality <laughs> reality shift happening. That's the end. Like I'm literally, this is my retirement now as the shit shifter of the collective and people blaming me for it. And my authentic expression because it triggers their false ego self because whether you say it or don't it's in the fucking field that's the issue and if people don't speak up it's psychic attacks that's what happens in the field okay and we all need to own up be fully accountable and responsible right use of power of the mind but most people don't even know what goes on in their mind so again you know know thyself that way you know all kinds of cosmic shit Again, your ego self can't figure this out. You need to let it all the way the fuck go. Empty yourself. Let the Holy Spirit fulfill you. Full surrender to God in all ways, shapes, and forms. Full surrender of control. Okay, especially not being controlling your journey. It's not about the goal. It's you, like, especially now, make it the best journey in every now moment, moment that you can. And every now moment looks different. And don't strive for perfection because it ultimately causes the opposite of what you want. So prepare for our full and final liftoff. We had some delays. But here we are finally now. Eina karaska eishna kina si teru kuno sukutura eina karate. So next stop Nirvana. Total love bliss. Let it take over. Okay, full surrender, full dissolution. It's just at one moment. The totality of the singularity gets us all the way back home. This is our true nature. This is who we truly are. As well as you don't get lost within the oneness. Okay. You are truly remembering who you really are. All of these cosmic memories fully flooding back our ancient future without all of these foreign timelines, inversions within the one consciousness. This is what they represent. Fully gone. It's just pure cognition. It's totally different to remembering and all of that stuff. Again, we are retaining the lessons. Okay. But we don't need to keep having all of the data keep running around in our minds and DNA because this is again your DNA is the film shift to your to your realities okay projecting the sin out what your mind believes to be true so truly this is where our cosmic celebrations family and divine hierogamic love reunion is imminent in the physical full contact fully remembered us at one with the cosmic family a parallel reality as if none of this has ever happened okay but again, we will remember. All right. But only the big picture and the lessons. That's what truly heals. We don't need the details. We can, if you want to, you can go to some kind of multidimensional library and look it up there. Okay. Don't you worry. Nothing is lost here. All is transformed. 
So this is truly where our bodies are transforming into crystalline liquid light, part of the collective Kundalini Kundaray awakening, massive activations happening within the crystalline core grids. Interdimensional Stargate system is ready for the full and final liftoff for Lightship Earth, our own plasma light bodies, tune all the way in. Eno kuro sukura aena kara teke na sukura e sana teke na e kara teke kara tuk 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 sta aita da da. Triple helix T, triple helix DNA. This is what merges past, present, and future, all beings, kingdoms, worlds as one. Now, keep neutralizing any of the last tests and trials. It keeps coming up until you can see it for the false reality that it is. You need to be able to see the false in every way, shape, and form coming up in your reality for what it is. See the real truth. Be in full alignment with crystalline clarity. That is what gets you ascended. Okay? It's not about being right or wrong. It's like you either know truth or you're out of alignment with truth. That's all that's really kind of true. Now, so much to share tomorrow. Got so many freaking notes. <laughs> now, remember, you need to have faith, tenacity, resilience. Okay, like literally beyond belief. But this is where our patience truly pays out. Be persistent. Persistent. Dedicate yourself to the greater cause of our cosmic ascension. Truly, that's what gets you through. This is a greater cause than your little you. Okay, yeah. Dreaming the dream. Okay, but again, it's one dream. But truly, we are all being played by God. This is all a great unfoldment, a dream within a dream. We are fully awakening from now, okay? That's the good news. So stop hanging on to the dream, thinking it's real. It's not. So this is where the cosmic Christ, the Christ of Sophia, the divine masculine feminine within us fully rises in true divine hierogamic love reunion within each one of us, okay, the God self, the cosmic Christ child fully rebirthed. That's what the phoenix stands for, okay? This is where we fully anchor this golden, abundant energy self, the cosmic Christ self, okay? Fully rebirthed, fully risen, fully remembered. The God self, fully realized, embodied through us. And this is how we return the kingdom of heaven. It's a consciousness we embody and then radiate out. We hold the blueprints for creation. You can put this on no one but yourself. So focus on you, okay? From within the oneness. That's where everything happens. Everything else happens from there. Everything, every doing, okay, action through divine inspiration, led through the divine feminine, taking you on a merry journey, a magic carpet ride. Okay, let all the way the fuck go. No control. That's how you release the control structures out there. Mastery is different. Okay, and you need to be in full flow state right now. Hmm. Otherwise, you'll be suffering. So, Whatever happens or doesn't, one thing I know for sure, big ass, mind-blowing, heart-blowing, wide-open miracles, the full ignition of all new free worlds is here, okay? As the old goes obsolete, offline, okay? This is where we burn the false matrix all the way the fuck down because it's just based on fears. So as you let them go and all these illusions of separation, that's when it fully dissolves. It's already energetically done and it's just unfolding now in the physical so let's see how that's going to roll out. Shall be interesting. Now, let's make this quick, sweet, easy, and graceful. All right. Again, we have a lot to do with this. Okay. Power of intent. Right use of mind. Right use of power. Okay. Let your heart guide you. Heart-based. Let realities. No longer just mind fuckery, please. Thank you. So as dreams become reality now and reality becomes a dream, as it truly should be. That's real, true, organic reality, not just inverted nonsense, okay? So let's leave our carbon copy bodies all the way behind this carbon copy reality version of insanity, all right? It's not real, see it for what it is. It's an inversion of what's really true, but it has helped us. It was the perfect recipe for us to put together the perfect version, the best of all worlds, our multidimensional selves, of everything. It's so multidimensional, it's quantum, it's beyond words. You need to go beyond judgment, compartmentalization, okay? How you think that's going to work, not work? Well, let go of control, okay? Belief systems, thought forms, is false ego self filters, okay? This is like, this goes all the way down. So 
allow God, the Holy Spirit, the great I am to perform miracles through you as you fully surrender to the divine love that you are. Again, on this call, the group call on the 20th and quantum style, because for the next three days, this, this will be massively playing out in the field, massively amplifying. OK, our plasma light bodies, that of the earth, our gifts, abilities, superpowers coming fully online. Now, let's fucking fly. All right. Let's sparkle like the diamond suns that we are, okay? God's dreams fulfilled through us. The kingdom of God returned. This is what we came here for. So we are it. Don't wait for anyone, anything out there to do it for you. Make it so. Use your imagination wisely. Every word, thought, feeling, action you take, make it, bring it into full alignment of what you know is really true. Let your heart guide you all the way home. Us all together. Okay, walk in the rainbow bridge together, truly, because time, space, gravity, all of this bullshit is not really real. True divine love is the frequency of magic. This is what's already dissolved is at higher level, truly, and it's not real. It's a false lower construct in this inverted realm. So transcend it, fully merged with your eternal God self, fully realized always now, okay? Takes no time whatsoever. So transcend that shit already. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Again, check out the links below. So much love, so many blessings. Thanks for any like, share, subscribe, comments. Let me know how you are in the comments below. And um, yeah, let's rock this. Okay. Let's keep dancing until the party is fully on. And we have shape shifted and flipped everything around. And that time is now. Sinakia, tikara, tupu, sushu, kunata, karate, kana, sakara, shekanata. Now, fully merge with your destiny, fulfill your hero's journey, okay? Rise. Okay, bye bye bye.